video is going to focus on uh, volume and surface area of rectangular prisms and so the first thing we need to start out with is just some basic vocabulary. So the surface area of a shape is just the sum of all the surfaces of a three-dimensional figure. And some of the key words that help us identify that a problem is asking us to solve for surface area are cover, wrap, paint, surface, or square units. So you can imagine if you are going to wrap a present for somebody, the amount of uh, wrapping paper that you're going to need to wrap the actual gift is going to be something that you would solve surface area for. Whereas the volume of something is the amount of space that is occupied by a figure. So some of the keywords for volume are fit, fill, space, hold, amount, inside, contain, and cubic units. So for volume, that would be something like, how much does this um, jar of jelly beans have inside of it? So how many jelly beans are in it? Um, the amount of space that's being taken up by that object. So the formulas that you're going to be using are all going to be listed here. They're going to all be given to you during your SOL test. So you can access your formula sheet that has all of these formulas on it, but they're also listed here while you're working on the notes today. So the volume of a rectangular prism, so first of all, a rectangular prism is something that looks kind of like a cube like we see here. So um, it could be a cube or it could be um, a rectangular prism where it's not a perfect square on the base. Um, but we have a length, a width, and a height for these. And to find the volume of that shape, we use V equals LWH. This just means volume equals length times width times height. So basically what you're doing is just multiplying all of those dimensions by one another. So when you see those letters up against each other, remember you can assume, oh yeah, there's like the little multiplication sign in between there, so I just need to multiply those numbers. Now as we get into the surface area, so we just covered volume, that's all about filling an object, but the surface area is the amount of the outside of a shape. So we said like the wrapping paper on a box if you're going to wrap a present for somebody. So the formula for that is surface area equals 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times width times height. So what I have drawn here is the net of a rectangular prism. So a net is just a shape but unfolded, so all the faces are shown. So you probably have seen this in the past. But it basically, if you unfolded all the sides of this, you would get all of these different layers of it. So I kind of broke it down just so you can see what we're talking about for the surface area of a rectangular prism. So this first side right here is just your length. So all of these lengths here are just your actual length of whatever the shape is. So whatever length is given, that's what we have for our length there. These measurements here are the width. And the width is also up here. But then if you go to fold this, here's your height, and this will also be the height because those are going to fold into one another. So they're both the height, which means both of these are the height as well. So same down here. So the reason that this um, surface area formula works is because our first part is talking about 2 times the length times the width. Well, the length times the width is just the area of this top rectangle right here. So we have 2 where we have to find the area of both of these. So 2 times length times width gets you these first two pieces. So, so far the area of just those two rectangles. Then we have to do 2 times the length times the height. Well, that's this one right here and this one right here. So we have length times height and length times height to find the volume, or sorry, the area of both of these two pink rectangles. And there's two of them, so that's why we have 2 times length times height. And then, of course, that last piece is 2 times width times height. And that's just these end pieces here. So these two blue rectangles now, we're getting the area by multiplying their width times the height, but there's two of them again, so we have 2 times the width times height. So that just kind of broke it down for you to understand how this actually works. We're just getting the area of each of these little faces and adding them all together to get the entire surface area of these rectangular prisms. As we move on to some examples, um, you're going to want to be able to access that cover sheet in order to figure out, well, what are these formulas so that you can write them down and go ahead and use them. So let's try this first one together. 
it tells us to find the volume. So step one tells us to look at the formula sheet and write the formula. It asks us for volume, and we're dealing with a rectangular prism, so I'm using volume equals length times width times height. And then step two says replace the formula equation with the appropriate numbers. So volume equals, I need to figure out what is my length. My length here is 10, my width is two, and my height is five. So then all I have to do is everywhere I see L, I'm gonna put 10. I'm gonna replace my W with a two, and my H with five. And then all I have to do is look at how I'm gonna simplify this. I have 10 times two times five, so since I just have all multiplication, I can do it all in one step. 10 times two is 20, and 20 times five is 100. So I get 100, but my volume always needs to be labeled with cubed units, so I was talking about centimeters, but since I'm talking about space, I'm in the third dimension here, I need to have centimeters cubed. So it's like, how many cubes could I fit in here? I could have 100 square, or 100 like little centimeter cubes in that box. So if you wanna pause and try the next one on your own, you're more than welcome to, or you can just listen along and um, try it with me. So again, it says find the volume and we're still dealing with a rectangular prism. So I'm still using the same formula of volume equals length times width times height. This time my length is seven, my width here is one, and my height is two. So I do length is seven, so seven times one times two. I just replaced all of my letters with their number. So L was seven, W was one, and H was two. All we have to do is multiply here. So seven times one is seven, and seven times two is 14. So 14, and this time I'm dealing with inches, but it needs to be inches cubed because we're talking about volume. So our final answer is 14 inches cubed. Um, when you're deciding which is the volume, or sorry, which is the length, which is the width, which is the height, it doesn't really matter which one you pick as which, as long as once you decide what it is, you're consistent with it throughout the rest of your problem, that's okay. So in our next problem, we have the same shape that we saw in our first example together. So length was 10, width was 2, and my height was 5. But now it's telling me to find the surface area. So I'm still dealing with rectangular prisms, and this formula is surface area equals 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times the width times the height. So I have all of these things that I need to multiply and then add together. So the first step is taken care of. I wrote my formula down. Step 2 says to fill in all the numbers with what you know. So 2 times the length of 10 times the width of 2 plus 2 times length of 10 times height of 5, plus 2 times the width of 2 times the height of 5. So I just filled in everything I know, and now to use GEMDAS, I have to take care of all my multiplication before I'm allowed to add. So surface area will equal 2 times 10 times 2 gets us 40. My plus sign comes down. 2 times 10 times 5 is 100. Plus sign comes down again. And then 2 times 2 times 5 is 20. So now I have 40 plus 100 plus 20. And surface area equals everything added together, which is 160. And it's telling us we have to always label our surface area problems with square units. So remember we talked about area, it's square units. We had centimeters, but it's centimeters squared because we're talking about the area that is covering this entire shape. So again, if you want to pause and try the next one on your own, you're more than welcome to, or you can just listen along to see how we do it. So problem says find the surface area. We're still using surface area of a rectangular prism formula. So it's the same formula we just used above. So you can copy it down for step one. The length here is seven, the width is one, and the height is two. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all of my letters. So two times the length is seven, times the width is one, plus two times length of seven, times height of two, plus two times the width of one, times the height of two. So I just replaced all my letters with um, what I had labeled them as, so L was seven, W was one, and H was two. So again, we have multiplication and addition. We have to follow GEMDAS and take care of all the multiplication first. So two times seven times one gets us 14. 2 times 7 times 2 gets us 28, and 2 times 1 times 2 gets us 4. 
So when we go ahead and add all of this together, we get a total of 46 feet squared as the entire surface area of this rectangular prism.